now with the mass Tinder date scam. Dozens of men, they showed up for a date with one woman, only to find out she wanted them to compete for her love. And ABC's Eva Pilgrim is here now with more. And Eva, there are a whole lot of angry men in New York City this morning. <laughs> oh, Paula, this story. Finding your person, love, whatever you want to call it, it isn't easy. If you're single, I don't have to tell you, dating can kind of stink. But one woman took the whole double booking idea to a whole new level, making the dating game more like the Hunger Games for her attention. A sea of men waiting, standing around, all for one woman. Okay, so, as you may or may not know, my name is Natasha, and I have a confession to make for everyone here. Everyone here today was brought here to be on a date with me. Self-described actress, model, and singer Natasha Aponte swiped right on all these men. No beer bellies, no long beards, no bald guys, no khakis, <laughs> no tongs. I don't know why, but I hate tongs. She chatted with them online, talking to some of them months ago, and then told them all of them individually to meet her in Union Square for what they thought was a one-on-one -on -one date. Some crazy social experiment is happening. But much to their surprise, when they showed up, there were dozens and dozens of others. Perhaps most surprising, they would be competing against each other for Natasha's love, from foot races to tests of strength, along with a string of odd questions. I thought it was a pretty elaborate ruse. Uh, it didn't occur to me, I guess, the scale of it immediately. But at first, I was just like, oh, she tricked a bunch of people. Misha was one of the dates, but left when he realized what was going on. And I think a lot of people are probably ashamed to be there. So I think some people just quietly walked away. But it was a strangely obedient audience for the little bit of time I stayed. Next, all the guys under 5'10", Axe. All the guys looking for just a hookup also asked to leave. She reportedly did pick a winner, but no word yet who it is. Aponte pulling off the whole stunt with the help of Rob Bliss, the man behind viral videos like this infamous anti harassment cat calling video from 2014. That video's been viewed more than 47 million times. Okay, so the reaction so far is pretty varying. Men have actually taken to her Instagram to blast her for this stud. Did she find love? We don't know yet. We'll find out on Thursday. That's when the official release of the video is <laughs> happening. But this is the thing. That girl is not going to be able to find a date in New York or the world for like a while. It's hard enough. It's hard enough. <laughs> well, you a question, she's going to be no. just fine. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't understand why guys just didn't walk away. But I did notice when, when the young gentleman said, well, a lot of them, they were obedient. <laughs> you two just obedient. busted out laughing. George and I were sitting there like. <laughs> well, I don't know what it says about men that they just decided do they you, would sit there. Do you think it's the competitive nature that kicks in like oh I'm going to compete for this woman I don't know if I want her but I want to compete <laughs> men okay. just like to compete no, no. no. did you see no. George's face right yeah. there that says it all no not, not strangely <laughs> obedient not strangely <laughs> obedient these two Eva thank you what a talker this is tomorrow we will talk exclusively we're going to talk more about this because the woman behind the event as well as the man who shot the video are going to be joining us I have plenty of questions yeah, sure <laughs> yeah we have some questions tomorrow <laughs>